Hey, what's going on everybody? Um, been a while. I um, recently got a message from Mr. Brad Smith, AKA Brad8671, Bradley Claus. I've uh, been blowing up everybody's mailboxes um, with uh, care packages for the holidays. Brad, again, thanks so much, bro. I appreciate um, anything that you put in here. Um, I need to see about getting something back your way, no matter what, what you've sent. Uh, it's been fun seeing other people's um, postings on this, and uh, I believe a few people have done videos for it as well. So I figured since I hadn't done a video in a while, it would be the right thing to do. Um, just getting over a little, little yuckiness, so hopefully uh, not too uh, nasally here, and y'all can understand what I'm saying. But we'll go ahead and open this up, get to this. Hope everybody's doing well. Wrapped up. Merry Christmas, Mike. Hope you enjoy the package. Brad8671. Nice little wrapping there to save with the uh, YouTube collection of cards and papers and wrappings that I have. Um, I can't think about what's been going on. Uh, Cowboys are looking decent. Obviously, Philly's playing fights out, so uh, tough tough in our division right now the Giants are playing really solid too so we'll see what happens there uh Longhorns it's been up and down uh we've had a couple good games that uh we kind of squeaked by and a couple games where we should have won and we didn't kind of par for the course right now all these last few years with what's going on um but we'll see what happens we're bowl eligible now uh, we got TCU this weekend who's currently at uh, number five. So if we can beat them, that'll definitely help us out. Uh, maybe get us into the Big 12 uh, championship game, and then who knows where we possibly could end up from there. I don't. I definitely don't think we end up anywhere near um, a chance to play for anything major, but I do think that the, if we can finish strong, we might get a better bowl game. Um, so we'll see what happens. But let's go ahead and see what we have. Let's wrap it up in a bundle, but Oh, right off the bat on the front. Deion Sanders out of Spectra. That is nice. Spectra is a great product. Let's, let's see. Nice color match too, it looks like, with the blue. Try not to look at anything else behind it. Like one of these. Yeah, number to 99. Very nice. I turned my camera sideways, so hopefully it's doing it correctly. I know last time I did it uh, vertically, and then when I posted the video, it's that little phone video, and I know that can be annoying, so hopefully it does it right this time. Uh, let's see. Oh, now this guy. This guy's playing. Oh, wow, number to 75 out of Legacy. One of the many hollow foils, Mr. Micah Parsons. Yeah, this kid's like the best thing the Cowboys got going for them right now, which is amazing. I knew he was good when we picked him up and, and drafted him. And I knew he was good, obviously, after last year, getting that defensive rookie of the year. But, yeah, he's he's definitely proven to, to really be pushing that team forward. Um, so hopefully he can keep it up, and it's going to be fun to watch him for a few years. Hopefully Dallas can retain him and not do something stupid. Oh, out of legacy number to 25. There's a all time right there. She Tony Dorsett. That is awesome. Love that. What does it say? Time machines. Yeah, that's freaking cool. Zeke, damn. Just getting lower and lower number. Number to 10 out of legacy. Ezekiel Elliott, the purple. Starting off with low numbers like this makes me uh, want to take a look and see what other variations there is. Maybe a little rainbow action. Yeah, when you get the 10 already in hand, it doesn't make it too difficult to go after the higher stuff. That is awesome. I do hope he can get healthy again and 
uh, we can hang on to him. I, I like him. I know a lot of people think he's overpaid, but I've enjoyed him being there. Oh, man. You're killing it. I do not have any autos of this guy. So this is very welcome to the collection. Number to 100 out of Pinnacle Inscriptions. But what is this? Uh, Panini Football. It doesn't say what product it actually was in. I don't think they did a Pinnacle uh obviously this is a old design um let me put the paper stock behind it so you can see yeah we have the auto there yeah that is fantastic i love that that's a beautiful card that is great but yeah this is an old design uh from pinnacle that when panini bought uh pinnacle or acquired them through whatever purchases they made uh they were able to use um the same design and so that's where these came from but yeah that is that is a great great card i love that that is awesome a little bit of foil on the on the lettering too man that's that's already way too much and i think i still have I still have oh geez brad last but definitely not least 12 of 25 I'll take this one out out of one of the best products, in my opinion, I've never opened this personally. Um, it is a product that I would love to open. They relaunched it or reissued it, uh, and they're doing it again, but I would love to open one of the older boxes like where this came from, uh, and that is a uh, Top Sterling. Um, what is this, 2010? Yeah, 2010, Top Sterling, and that is a Yogi Berra Number 12 of 25, the mask, the mash behind the mask with three game use pieces. The old Yankee fabric, just beautiful cards. Really thick stock, great stock, uh, great design. Uh, I think Tops like knocks it out of the park on these. Um, I was just getting back into the hobby right around 2010. Uh, and then shortly after, I think maybe 2010 was like the last year or 11 maybe. They didn't do it for long, but they were um, very high end. I want to say they were like four or $500 back then um, for a box. And it was like a themed box. And I, you only got a handful of cards. And I think it was like, I don't even know, to be honest. I, I don't know if it was two cards or maybe like five cards. But yeah, it was themed to whatever the box was. So you could get like the Bronx Bombers and it would be all Yankees or, you know, you could get just something that was geared towards, you know, home run leaders, just different themes. And every card in there would be themed, uh, would be uh, from that theme. So just something that maybe someday down the road <laughs> as things settle down, obviously right now boxes like that, I, don't, I can't even imagine what they'd go for. I think the new Top Sterling is... I don't even know if, if it's at 500 or if it also went nuts. I think those only had two cards. So, but yeah, Brad, obviously I, I'm a rambler. Um, beautiful card. Absolutely love it. Love the entire package, man. You freaking killed it. I don't have any of this. Um, love everything. Uh, I'll definitely be sending you a message. Uh, post some pics in our groups too uh, for our folks that, that don't make it around to uh, YouTube. Um, but yeah, hope everybody's doing well. Hope you all have a happy, happy holidays. Bradley, yourself as well, sir. Uh, and again, I'll, I'll be working at getting something back, uh, to you. Um, I'm pretty sure everybody, if you're watching me, you've more than likely know Brad. Uh, and if you don't, I'll put his link, uh, for his channel. Um, please do yourself a favor. Go check him out. Uh, all time Dolphins collector. Uh, <laughs> Word on the street is he's buying uh, Michael Agnews at 200% uh, of comps. So reach out to him. He's the Agnew super collector, massive collection, big time dolphin collector. But yeah, just tell him Mike sent you with the Agnew cards and he'll, he'll take care of you on that. But uh, again, y'all take care. We'll talk to y'all soon. Welcome.